Hi friends, welcome back to God of Gizmos. My name is Satish Kumar Purswani. Today we will be looking into uh, RX Java methods again, and today we will be talking about uh, filter method, and then any method, and then there is uh, all method. Okay, so recently one of my colleague actually motivated me to uh, keep creating these videos. Uh, so I would like to thank him a lot. I would not be mentioning his name, but still I would like to thank thank him. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's begin. You can see here on my screen, I've created a uh, flux and I've passed some uh, data in it. And this is the random data, but you can see B is the letter that is uh, frequently uh, occurring in this uh, data. Okay, most of the times and Z is the letter where which is uh, occurring in all of the data. Okay, so uh, let's begin if uh, you can see we are uh, actually getting emitting the data in from DB method. Okay, and if you see from DB method, then uh, we are actually filtering out all the values that are coming out from this data and which contains B. So if I try to execute this all the information all the data that is there uh, that is getting emitted from this flux will be filtered out and only the records which are containing a letter b will be uh, emitted or will be consumed will be passed right okay so i will be executing this for you so that you can see what is happening okay so if you see in this all the uh, data which is coming in is uh, actually containing B. So that means DCZ is not there. Okay. And FCZ is not there. Okay. So because it does not contain B. So moving on to next method. Okay. We will be talking about any. Any is the method uh, which will return you true value. Okay and uh, on the basis of that you can uh, make further actions okay so you can see there are uh, only two uh, values okay which are actually emitting f which are containing f okay in the data one is this one and another is fcz okay so any any means uh, if from all the data if any of the value is containing f then it will return true so I will be executing this for you. Okay. And you will see the value true is getting returned. Okay. Now if I change this to suppose X. Okay. You can see there is no value which is with the X. And if I try to execute this, I'm expecting a return value as false. Okay. Here it is. Then uh, moving ahead to all method. So all is the method if uh, your data, all of the data which is containing uh, the particular value all, or depending upon your condition, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So uh, you can see uh, Z is the value which is uh, being contained in all the data. I will try to execute this for you. And I'm expecting a true return, a true value that needs to be written. Okay. So you can see uh, true is getting returned. Okay. So now I will try to change this to B. Okay. So B is occurring in most of the data, but it is not there in all of the data. So I will try to execute this again for you. Okay. And see, it is returning false. Okay. Hope I hope you have got what I am trying to explain over here with these three uh, methods. Okay. And I will be uh, committing this to GitHub and you will be getting the link in the description box below. So do subscribe to my channel if you have uh, liked my video, if you have understood what I am trying to explain and do support me. Thank you very much.